After over 24 hours in the air, the Qantas Wallabies touched down in London and surprisingly bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. It was a pretty smooth flight uh, and a very quick transfer through Dubai, so uh, we're here in good shape. Um, what you have to do is just acclimatise, obviously jet lag's an issue. 6am uh, arrival here in, uh, in London means it's a long day and uh, you've got to stay awake. A short walk to help the tired eyes before a team bike ride through England's capital to get the legs going. The boys are out in groups of four, um, trying to find creative ways to, uh, to find monuments and get, in, get photographed in front of monuments just in the local area So um, and come back and uh, you will have a look at that from a, from a fun point of view. But uh, at this point in time, you just want to be active without, um, without putting your bodies at risk. The spring tour now well and truly underway and with a week to go before meeting the old enemy, the English are already getting stuck in. Yeah, well, as the guy at Passport Control said to me, you know, uh, you're going to do better than the cricket team. I said, hopefully we, hopefully we can, so um, that's the plan. Um, uh, yeah, like the, the rivalry between England and, uh, and Australia is well known, so um, so hopefully everyone's back there watching and uh, and uh, we do... do, well, we do a, do really good things against England uh, at Twickenham and, uh, and it's a good marker for us with the World Cup coming up there in our pool in the World Cup so it's a really good marker for us there we've got to be able to beat them over this part of the world.